What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Movie Endings Explained, where we explain the endings of movies. Yeah, pretty obvious, right? If this is your first time here, I would invite you all to hit the red subscribe button down below and turn that post notification bell on to all ALL so you don't miss any future uploads. And of course, be sure to smash the like down below. So let's jump into this. Ford versus Ferrari. I had the privilege of seeing this film over the weekend. Uh, absolutely loved it. And I'm going to literally read what happened uh, you know, at the ending of the film and give a little bit of an explanation here. Since this is based off a true story, off of uh, Carol Shelby and Ken Miles, uh, there obviously are huge spoilers here. And this is literally word for word right off of the Wikipedia which is what is transpired in the film. After almost a day of testing at Riverside International Raceway in the brutally hot Southern California desert summer weather, Miles approached the end of the tracks one mile, 1.6 kilometers, downhill, back straight, at top speed, 200 plus miles per hour, when the car suddenly looped, flipped, crashed, and caught fire. The car broke into pieces and ejected Miles, killing him instantly. The car had suffered precisely the sort of crash damage the honeycomb construction was designed to prevent. As a result, the aerodynamics of the J-car were heavily modified to correct the rear end lift generated at race speeds. Ford officials under pressure after the second of two fatal accidents in the program in five months also ordered a NASCAR style steel tube rollover cage to be installed in future versions of the car. The death of 47 year old Miles following that of 46 year old Hangsgen led Ford to favor younger drivers in subsequent race entries. The significantly revised J car renamed the Ford Mark IV won the only two races in which it was entered, the 1967 Sebring 12 hours and the 1967 24 hour of Le Mans. The steel roll cage in the Mark IV mandated as a direct result of Miles' death probably saved the life of Mario Andretti who crashed violently during the 1967 24 hours of Le Mans but escaped. Miles is interred at the Abbey of the Psalms Mausoleum of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California. So this is actually what happened in the film. Um, they didn't go into that much detail, but you do see from afar uh, Ken Miles flipping the car, and then you see Carol Shelby, you know, um, Matt Damon look at his son, at Miles' son, with, you know, disbelief, like, oh my god, your father just died. So it's definitely a very, very, uh, you know, tough scene to watch. Definitely pulls on your heartstrings, to say the very least. And then we also see towards the very end that. Um, Matt Damon, Carol Shelby goes to visit Peter Miles, the son, about six months after the accident happens because Carol Shelby just can't get over it because, you know, that was his friend. And he ends up going to see Peter at his house. They talk and uh, he ends up giving that wrench to uh, Peter from the one that Ken threw at Carol Shelby at one of the races before they even went on this whole endeavor. So it ends with that basically saying that Carol Shelby misses his friend, but unfortunately had to move on. So the film was ac excellent. Really, really, truly top notch. I would recommend it to anyone and everyone. Um, and please let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Did you like the film? Did you not? Uh, what were your thoughts overall? Really love to hear from you in the comments. And until next time, if you found some value in this, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below and tap that post notification bell to all ALL for future uploads. And of course, please smash the like button down below. Until next time, keep watching those movies and we'll keep explaining those endings. Take care.